So here we have an isoquant and an iso cost line. And we're supposing here that the minimum total cost for producing 100 units of output is $50 million, right? So we've got our tangency here at point A of our ISO quant producing 100 units and the ISO cost telling us it costs $50 million. Suppose that the price of capital increases. Now the slope of this 50 million ISO cost is going to get flatter, right? If the price of labor hasn't changed and I still have $50 million to spend, then what we're going to see is a rotation of the ISO cost line. So when capital is more expensive, it's going to rotate down along the k-axis. Now this ISO cost line, $50 million, is no longer tangent to my ISO quant. I'm going to have to draw a new ISO cost line that has the slope with this new wage to the, rate, uh, to the rental rate of capital ratio, but is tangent to my new ISO quant or to my original ISO quant. So I increase my line and I find its tangency and it's tangent at point B so I'm still producing 100 units of output but I'm doing so at the original price of labor and the new price of capital. Now since this line is higher what I know is the cost of producing 100 units of output has increased and let's suppose that it's 60 million dollars and that's what I've labeled it right here. 